see from NC State's defense on film? Um, they got experience uh, all around. They've got a couple older guys. Um, they fly to the ball. I'd say they're just hard. They, they play hard. The defense plays hard. Uh, that's about it. We just got to win our matchups. So coming off that Louisville game, big breakout for you. I mean, how do you do you stay patient in this moment, or is it something that you just want to be? Don't want to press. You want to press in the situation and get the ball in your direction more. Uh, for me, it's just. I mean, just doing my job, and when the opportunity comes my way, just make the most of it. Um, I just want to win. You know, last week uh, we came short of that. So, um, you know, regardless how your performance is as an individual, I feel like, you know, if you're not winning, it ain't enough. So. Have you noticed, I mean, has there been more attention paid on you, maybe more double teams, things like that in the last two games since that Louisville game? Um, for the most part, I think, you know, they, they try to – they try to limit, you know, what what I do sometimes, but uh, I just feel like we have so many weapons. You know, it's uh, you try to limit one guy, then another guy, you know, comes open. So, um, you know, I'm not. They could try, but you know, we. I don't know. I just think we're loaded, and it's going to be hard to stop us all. What's it been like playing with Jordan Travis? Seems like y'all been building some pretty good chemistry heading into halfway of the season. Uh, it's been great, you know, playing with J. Trav. Um, we've been able to, you know, really connect, bond, and build that relationship that, you know, uh, guys in the receiver room want to have with their quarterback uh, to build that trust. So uh, it's been it's been smooth, and uh, every day, you know, it's just we try to come out here, work, get better. On those jump ball situations, what's the key? Is it showing your hands late? Is it getting up the early and having strong hands? What, what's the key? Uh, it's just wanting it, honestly. Um, it's how bad and you know, just how bad you want it. You know, Coach Dooley's always preached uh, you got to have a bad case of the wants. So um, for me, it's always you know when that when the ball's up in the air, up in the air. It's like how bad do you want it? You know, how bad do you want to make the play? You didn't get you know in high school you had a lot of attention, but you didn't have a lot of attention probably out of Arizona State. Having the big games and getting like national attention, have you been able to kind of block that out, or is it? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's the great thing about college football. You know, you can have a great game one week. Uh, you got to go back out and do it the next week, do the same thing. So um, for me, I try to just block out the outside noise. You know, we got a we got a main goal that we're all trying to reach. And, uh, you know, one game isn't going to do it. It's a long season. So um, just try to come out every week and play my best and, you know, do my best to help the team win. Did you feel like in the first half that you guys – Coach Norvell said he thought maybe you guys were pressing a little bit. Did you feel that during the first half offensively, or why do you think you guys took so long to get it going? Uh, for me, I, I feel like it was just, I don't know, for me, I just felt like it was the energy. I don't know, usually um, we just got to come out and start fast. You know, we got to uh, have that energy. Everybody's got to want to play. I felt like we kind of came out a little, little sluggish, uh, a little complacent. So, um, you know, that's my thing. You know, I try to tell the guys in the room just every week, you know, Every play, we got to come and do our job, and you know, give our best effort. Now, are you at a point now where you feel like if they're going to play off of you, you're, you've been able to show the, the ability to catch and run afterwards, and they want to play physical with you, that you can you can hold up and, and get past guys? Yeah, I mean, that's been the thing I've tried to work on. You know, uh, for the longest, you know, run after the catch, uh, yards after the catch. So, um, for me to finally, you know, have the opportunity to. You know, put that on display and uh, try to make the most out of you know those oppor opportunities and those situations. Um, you know, it's like I, I take I take what they give. You know, you want to play off. Um, I get the ball. You think I can't run after the catch? I'll show you. So, um, yeah. Is there anybody specific you like going against in practice? Um, probably say Renardo. I like going against Renardo. You know. Every time I step up, uh, step up there with him, you know, I know I'm gonna get the best out of him, and he's gonna get the best out of me. Um, also, I like going against uh, Duke. Duke, um, shoot, I, just them two guys. You know, I just feel like you know we we always working, you know, to get the best out of each other because uh, you know we always tell each other we're the best at what we do. So you know, if we're stopping each other, making plays on each other, then it should be a lot easier in the game. I know it was before you got here, but, but Saturdays weren't always great for the team before you got here. I mean, that was your guys' first setback this season. Yeah. What kind of sort of energy and response have you seen from the guys that have been here for a while that makes you feel confident that you guys are going to bounce back? Um, I feel like it's more of everyone kind of knew, like, we shot ourselves in the foot that game. Um, you know, everyone kind of just realized that. And it's like, you know, you can't be mad at anybody else. You can't be mad at this situation. Uh, 
it's I don't know how it was last year, but this year, you know, I try to just tell people it's a long season. You know, that's one game. You know, we still got a long ways to go, and we still, you know, reach our goal that we've been trying to trying to reach. And um, you know, I just you know just tell the dudes just stay locked in. You know what I mean? Just still give your best every day. You know, it's it's not over. So uh, I feel like the energy's good. Johnny, uh, Coach Norvell said a couple weeks ago that. He remembers when you entered the transfer portal. He was in Arkansas. He called you up almost immediately, and you guys had like a 30-minute conversation. And that he really headed that kind of recruitment and was, was talking with you quite a bit. What, just what was your kind of initial impressions when he reached out and maybe the the message he had for you? Um, honestly, I was I don't know. To me, it was kind of like a a blessing. Um, when I entered the transfer portal. Uh, I tried to reach out to schools. Um, nobody, nobody wanted me. Like, I think like probably one school, maybe like Oregon State, you know, wanted wanted me to take a look at them. But um, I was at like a point where I was like, dang, like, am I really not gonna play football, you know, again? Like, I don't know. It was just surreal, like, for that to happen. You know, think I wasn't even gonna be playing anymore because nobody really wanted to take a shot on me. So when Norvell, Coach Norvell, you know, took you know, took my message and, uh, you know, got in contact with me. It was like, regardless of what happens, like, you know, I'm coming here. <laughs> I'm coming here. I saw an opportunity. Um, you know what I mean? I just got to talk to him about, you know, what this team could be, you know, what this team is now and what I, you know, what I could bring to this team, what I could bring to this offense. And uh, it was great. So, you know, I just looked at it, you know, it was a blessing at another opportunity. What did he tell you that he saw in you that gave him the confidence that you'd be who you are now? Um, he's seen, you know, from my size, you know, I, I can move pretty well. Um, for me, it was just like uh, just just being able to let, let loose um, kind of, you know, previous spot. It, it was like I couldn't really just show, you know, show what I could do. Um, coming here, talking to him on the phone, he said, you know, you're going to get your opportunity to make, you know, make plays on the way. You're not going to be out there as if you do it to yourself. So um, I really took that, you know, really took that and was just like, you know, it's you versus you every day. Uh, don't worry about anybody else. And um, he told me, you know, just focus on you and just get better. And, and the final one, just what, what gave you the confidence, uh, you know, after the last couple seasons, going in a portal, what gave you the confidence once you did come here? that you would have a season like this? Was, was there ever a doubt there? And, and when when did you finally kind of feel like, OK, yes, I can, I can do this thing? Um, really, when I when I learned the playbook, uh, learned my position well, you know, when you know what you're doing, you can play fast, you can play free, you can play confident. Um, that was, uh, it's not like I didn't know, you know, my playbook at the old place, but it's like I got here. Um, I stopped being complacent. Uh, I started doing more when I got here, you know, working on extra drills after practice, uh, watching extra film, you know, doing all the little things that I wish I did in the past. And uh, just giving you, giving yourself that advantage, that edge, you know, makes you play faster. It makes you feel more confident. So um, yeah, just doing all the things that I didn't do before, you know, getting the extra work in here, uh, extra studying, and uh, really just taking the learning, taking the teachings and stuff, and just applying them.